Welcome back students. This video covers the important concepts and the equations related to the course fundamentals of Internet of Things under JNTUH R16 as well as R18 regulation. I have taken into consideration very important questions and these are the gunshot questions. Make sure to work out accordingly. The first and foremost gunshot I can give you is the characteristics of IoT or the physical design of IoT is one of the gunshot questions. Dear students, the course is too short in its structure. They may be covering all the questions which I have kept on the paper. Later the basics of networking as well as the sensors networks and explain. From these two parts may be getting the question 1A as well as 1B. Later, what are the various key components of IoT and difference of communication protocols may be also one of the repeated questions asked several times and the functional blocks of IoT and differences between sensing versus the actuation. The, from this part you will be getting one more question as per the COVID pattern you all are aware that from first to for unit you will be getting two questions. Later, the third question is all about the difference between IoT and M2M is also one of the very very important and basic question. Later, the M2M system architecture and applications is also gun short question which you can expect in the third question. Later, the list out the various interoperability levels in IoT and explain from these two part you are going to get to one question. Later, a write a program to integrate the actuators and sensors with Arduino is also one of the important question and related to actuators and sensors you are going to get one question for sure. Later, Arduino program and explain and in discuss in detail. From this part you are going to get the fourth question. I have taken into consideration even the third unit the python programming and its importance as well as the explain the control structure of python and WAT to control the LED using Raspberry Pi related to Raspberry Pi you are going to get one question for sure dear students even from the third unit there will be two questions popular commands used in Raspberry Pi as well as IoT with Raspberry Pi implementation as well as the interfaces with the sensor and the peripherals of the Raspberry is also one of the important question from these concepts you are going to get two questions for sure till now I have covered three units that is nothing but 30 units from this 30 marks plus 30 plus 30 90 marks if you are going to prepare short from these concepts you are going to get first five to six questions for sure and this is one of the scoring subject and do not skip your uh, any point in the examination try to write very neatly carrying your stationery to the exam SDN key elements as well as SDN for IOT uh, enabled IOT diagram SDN enabled IOT diagram is also one of the very very important and gunshot question from the fourth unit I mean the sixth seventh question SDN is different from the enterprises network explain as well as what is data synchronization in IOT and data handling and the analytics from this part you are going to get one question for sure later the eighth question is all about the cloud computing the smart cities versus smart house homes as well as the various services of cloud computing and the sensor cloud is a gunshot question industrial iot as well as smart grid computing cloud computing as well as a question related to the case study will be asked and the case study questions is asked several times from the eighth question these are the important questions which i have taken into consideration do follow my channel as well as subscribe as well as share this video with your friends who are taking this course hope you will perform well good luck and god bless you all.